G'day guys, Daniel from Result Based Training here. Uh, today I'm just going to talk to you a bit about um, some gym equipment accessories that you can use in your sessions. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about, you know, what do you use, Daniel, or what do you use, Coach Caddy, Coach, Coach Chelsea. Um, everyone's sort of asking us, you know, just some questions, so I thought we'd just go through some things today. So. I've got my bag here guys, so that's probably we thought this is the best way to actually show you what um, we have in our bags to, to give you that sort of demo of what, um, what goes through, what, what happens with a PT's bag. So first of all guys, um, what I've got here is uh, my knee sleeves, okay? So my knee sleeves, generally speaking guys, um, are, normally I use these when I'm heavy squatting, okay? I would never really use this when I'm doing high volume squats. Um, some people might need to, they need to have that support. And mainly the reason why you'd have these guys is because, you know, your, your joints obviously, particularly in the winter months, get nice, they're cold, and these will keep your knees nice and warm, okay? And they'll just give you that extra bit of support. And even some like a mental side of things like um, your mind as well, that your, your knees have got that support when you are lifting heavy. So um, generally, speaking guys um, I like I said I will use these on our on heavy lifts not so much on a high repetition high volume sort of repetitions with any sort of squat so um, fantastic for um, for squatting guys um, the other thing guys I've got in my bag is uh, a weight belt okay so you can pick these up like at rebel sport for like 19 20 bucks okay so they come in all different sizes but um, I use this Nike one here, but, um, mainly because it's nice and flexible. Okay, I can do like conditioning um, sessions with this sort of belt instead of the big, thick, uh, bulky ones that you normally do get. Um, you're sort of limited with what you're able to do as far as uh, conditioning is concerned. So, with the belt, guys, you know, typically I will use this again on on most heavy lifts. Okay, so particularly things like deadlifts when I'm pulling deadlifts. Um, heavy squats, um, all those sorts of things as well. And it's very, this one in particular, is very easy to come on, off and on. Okay, so um, quite simply guys, you just put it around your waist, okay, around, sort of around your belly button, just underneath there, pull it tight, okay, and it just gives you that support. Now, that, the support is obviously there, but also it just keeps you nice and compact with your core particularly when you're doing like heavy lifts in your back squat. A lot of people's core uh, will actually break um, and that's one of the other reasons why I use this belt. Obviously front squats, any sort of heavy squats guys is perfect for this thing. Um, the other thing I have in my bag guys, um, uh, wrist wraps. Okay, so the wrist wraps guys, pretty much um, are supporting my wrist when I'm doing again heavy lifts, okay, like things like bench press, military press, shoulder press, whatever you want to call it, push presses, split jerks, anything like that, okay, it just gives you that extra bit of support around your wrist. Would you use it during push-ups? Probably not, okay, um, depending on how, if you have any wrist issues or anything like that, but it just gives you that extra bit of support when you are lifting heavy overhead, okay? Um, the final thing, guys, is my Ollie shoes I have in my bag, okay? So, again, the Ollie shoes will Relate back to the squatting, okay, guys. Um, this will obviously just, um, I use the Nike Romalios, guys. I highly recommend these. I don't know any different with the, um, any other shoes because I've never had any other shoes. These will last about three or four years. Um, fantastic shoe, nice and thick, okay. I have a lot of particularly ankle mobility issues, okay, just from years of playing football. So the extra thickness in the sole right there is, is really, really good for my ankle mobility when I am squatting. So I can um, squat a lot better. The other thing is as well, guys, they're nice and flat. Okay, so I can transfer a lot, I can get a lot stronger and a more efficient lift by having that stability on the ground with these, with these shoes. So um, can be used for all sorts of things depending on uh, conditioning, what the conditioning is. So I wouldn't do burpees in these things at all, but if the, if the workout re required me doing a lot of squatting like wall balls or, or air squats or jumping squats, I would actually use something like this depending on what it was combining with. So you've just got to, with shoes guys, you've just got to make your decision based around what you're working out, um, is, work, work, working out is uh, for the day. So deadlifting guys, I wouldn't recommend de deadlifting in these, but you can, okay, but mainly these are great for squatting and squat is obviously a, one of those exercises we use a lot, obviously, here at RBT. It's a foundation lift that we, that we, can, um, we use with all our programming. So that's what's in Dan's bag, guys. Um, any questions, post below. Thanks a lot.